This was at the state meet in 2019. Shannon Goldstein's daughter is a track star in her senior year at Somerset High School. She's in the weight room a lot. But the shot put thrower's school year has now been thrown for a loop. I was very surprised. Surprised by the governor's order Friday, requiring every school in the state to close beginning Wednesday. Unless things change, it will remain that way through April 6th. That's two and a half weeks of online learning from home. Where my girls are in school and their education, having to learn online will just be a different way of life and a learning curve. Shannon's younger daughter is in seventh grade. Both are old enough to stay home alone. As a parent, first thinking is, you know, we have to completely reevaluate our entire schedule. But that's not the case for Tim Sabin's eight-year-old son in second grade at North Hudson Elementary. Tim, a real estate agent, will now be working from home. You know, trying to get what I need to get done mixed with him doing his schoolwork remotely and, you know, trying to keep him, you know, fed. <laughs> Both parents say before the closure, their households had to take a survey so the districts could find out what kind of access each student had for online coursework and work with those who would need help in case schools were to close. It's not the track either parent thought this school year would take but both think it's a necessary hurdle. I was kind of really sitting on the fence. I thought sometimes it's rash, but I don't want to find out what the consequences would be in the future if we didn't make that decision now. So I'm in support of it. Jennifer Austin, CARE 11 News. Uh, here in Minnesota, K-12 through classes will still take place in the classroom at this point, and we've heard from several people questioning why that's happening, particularly when state leaders suggested canceling events where more than 250 people are gathered. Adrian brought us get some answers. Friday, Governor Tim Walz and Minnesota Health Department leaders outlined their plan to slow the spread of COVID-19. These are things that people need to do. On that list, postpone or cancel events with 250 or more people. Make telework arrangements, stagger work schedules, and limit event attendance to no more than 10 people when involving folks who are high risk for COVID-19. But among all the questions, this one weighs heavy on Governor Walz's heart. Closed schools don't go close. Closed schools don't go close schools. I am gathering all that best information around us, and we will make real-time decisions. Walz says the decisions are influenced by science. For example, children make up a small percentage of the cases globally. The Chinese data is probably the most, um, the most thorough on this. Uh, that they're just not seeing uh, cases of child-to-child uh, -child transmission nor child-to-family transmission. Kids can have the virus and not be symptomatic themselves. But as a percentage of the transmission, it's very, very small. Not zero, but very, very small. So that's why we say it's, this is, the school closures would not, on the face of it, be indicated as a primary strategy for reducing transmission. Governor Walls trending on Twitter this afternoon and Minnesotans firing questions. Eli says, how are we supposed to distance ourselves when we have 50 students in a classroom? I understand when we put out social distancing uh, issues in there. Uh, as a classroom teacher at 43 kids in a classroom that should have had 20, you cannot social distance in there. And the governor's decision to keep schools open for now comes from top medical professionals. I'm telling you this as the father of a 13 year old, our kids are scared about what's happening. We need to learn how to talk to our children and what that means and they're worrying about going to school. Your instinct is to protect your children. One of the things is, is that the uh, epidemiologist in no uncertain terms says do not close schools. He said the implications of spreading throughout the community when they go home, being cared for by parents, 35% of the nursing staff in this nation has school-age children. It is estimated that 20% of them. So when I call the health care CEOs, they're telling me don't do that because the implications are on this side. Good points. Some school districts announced today that they are closing temporarily to prepare for possible closures in the future due to the coronavirus. Here are a few of those schools we're talking about. Delano schools are closing for the day on Monday. Roseville schools will be closed Monday and Tuesday, and Chisago Lake schools will close Monday and start two hours late on Tuesday. And you can find school closings on care11.com.